Having just gone through my own experience of having babies for the first time, it was a, it definitely rang true to me. You know, all the the little jokes about uh, what it is to be pregnant and you know being tired and being you know kind of hormonal and all that kind of weird things that happen to you and you're, you're, how hungry you are and how tired you are and it's just all you know. I I knew exactly what it was. Zoe is a kind of a modern woman. She's independent, very confident, earthy, but still, you know, fashionable and, you know, kind of a modern, fun way. And But uh, I think she gets to a point in her life where she realizes maybe I'm not going to meet the right person and I really want to have a family, I really want to have a child. And so she decides to do it on her own. And then she meets Stan. I love working with Alex. I've had a really great time with him. Um, again, I don't know if he's ever done a romantic comedy before, so I was kind of like the veteran romantic comedy person here, <laughs> which was actually kind of great um, for me. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun be with, with Alex because he's he really is such a really good actor, really, really good actor, and, um, and that's what it takes. And he also has really good timing on um, the comedy stuff, so we were able to kind of play off each other a lot. I like pushing and seeing, you know, finding what else we can make funny in, within the scene. And when you do things like that, where it's like stuffing your mouth and, you know, doing all this kind of stuff, it's like you don't want to always do what you've always seen before. You know what I mean? You want to try to bring something new to it and fresh to it. And also very real. What always makes comedy funny is that there's some reality to it. You know, that's what makes people laugh. They're like, oh, my God, that's so true. That could <laughs> that just happened. I can't believe that just happened, you know? I think for Zoe, that is kind of her pseudo family, Hudson Mutz and, 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 and the kids that work there, Eric and, and Noreen, play Clive and Daphne. And um, I think, you know, those are the people she hangs out with because Mona kind of has her kids and can't hang out anymore. So this has become her little group, her little family. And her and uh, Clive, Zoe and Clive, really have probably had a night that they want to forget about and you know when it comes down to it she knows he's a good person and when the it first comes to her mind to have a child i mean he's the automatic first choice like he's in her life every day he's a good person even though he's a little kooky and but um they care about each other i think they all care about each other you know and and they have a nice little you know group a little relationship between the three of them It's about inexperience. You don't realize it. You're not thinking of the whole entire picture and what's going to make the movie great and every single beat within a beat and what means what and how that could come back later. And you don't think of that or how, you know, something you wear or something that you bring into the scene could totally change things. And, and you don't do that, but, but he's so great. I feel like I do that now, you know, because I have so much experience now. And Alan even... I feel like he has challenged me in the sense that he takes that even a step further. Like, he would think of something that I didn't think of when I thought I thought of everything, you know? And that's, that's, that's impressive to me, you know, because I really do my homework, and I really come to the table prepared and ready to show you what I have, you know what I mean? And, and uh, to have somebody come up and go, did you think of that, and me say no is a big deal. I love it. I love being back to work. I've always loved working. It's a big part of who I am. And to have left it for a couple of years and had my own kids and spend time with them has been, you know, a big deal for me, you know. Uh, so to get back is, it's been the best. It's a really happy time. And I love having my kids around on the set. And they've been a big part of the movie for me off the, you know, behind the scenes. And it's been amazing. I think the great thing about the script, about what Kate wrote, Kate Angelo, who wrote the script, is that she had just went through three pregnancies herself. Like, when I met her and I, I had just got the script and read it, and I met her at a an aerobics class, a, like, workout class somewhere, and she's like, hi, I'm Kate. I wrote the, you know, the backup plan. I wrote Plan B. I was like, 
I'm, I just, I'm doing that movie. She goes, I know. <laughs> I was like, oh. And she's like, I just had a baby six weeks ago. So she brought that real freshness to it, that, that reality to what it is, you know, and she has a great voice. I think she gave Zoe a great voice, which is her voice, you know, which is her living through just having had a baby and what that's like and, and it being so fresh in her mind and putting her comedic twist on it, her kind of way of saying things and doing things.